Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome to the wildest corner of the internet where plastic animals come to life. Today we're diving into a jungle of imagination. I'll be showing you some of my favorite plastic animal figures, but with a twist. I'm using artificial intelligence to animate them like they're the real deal. From tank-like rhinos to sneaky snakes, watch these figures move, blink and behave just like their wild cousins. Thanks for some seriously cool AI magic. So buckle up, get curious and let's explore the animal kingdom like you've never seen it before. Don't forget to like and subscribe. These two snakes are made by one of my viewers, Jamie. I'm keeping my fingers right away from this titanoboa. Giraffes are the skyscrapers of the animal kingdom. Tall, elegant and totally unforgettable. Standing up to six meters high, they use their crazy long necks to munch on treetop leaves that no other animal can reach. But did you know their necks have the same number of bones as yours? Just super stretched out. Their spots aren't just stylish, they act like camouflage in the wild. And when giraffes walk, their legs move on the same side of the body at once, like they're strutting down a fashion runway in slow motion. Zebras are like wild horses with a barcode vibe. No two have the same stripes. These black and white beauties aren't just flashy, their stripes actually help confuse predators, especially when they run in a group. Zebras can run up to 65 kilometers per hour and are seriously tough. Don't be fooled by their fancy coats. And here's a twist. Scientists believe zebra stripes may help to keep bugs away, kind of like a built-in bug zapper suit. Stylish and smart. They live in herds on African grasslands. Zebras rely on each other for safety. They stick close, look out for danger and even groom each other. The stripes vary on zebras depending on their location. Zebras living in warmer climates tend to have more stripes. When two lions fight, it's intense, wild, and all about power, pride, and survival. Why do lions fight? To take over a pride? Male lions battle for control. If one wins, he gets to lead the pride. And yes, that includes protecting it and mating rights. Other times it is to defend territory. Lions are super territorial. Strangers aren't welcome. Sibling rivalry? Even cubs wrestle and fight as practice for later. And what does a fight look like? Massive paw swipes. Think boxing match but with claws the size of knives. Growling and roaring. It's loud. Roars warn, back off or you're next. Teeth bared, ears pinned back. Lions go full beast mode. Charging and grappling. Sometimes they leap onto each other like furry gladiators. Fights don't last forever. They're short but fierce. One lion usually gives up and runs off while the winner claims the prize, which is the pride, territory or dominance. Roar. 
rhinoceros. Rhinos are like prehistoric tanks with attitude. Weighing over two tons and armed with horns made of keratin. Same stuff as your fingernails. They can charge at speeds of 50 kilometers per hour. Despite their tough look, rhinos are mostly chill herbivores that love wallowing in mud to cool off and protect their skin. Some species are critically endangered, which makes protecting them more important than ever. Think of them as ancient creatures walking in our modern world. They are a true symbol of strength and resilience. Hippo reproductive anatomy is very interesting. Male hippos have internal testicles, which is unusual compared to most mammals. This means that their testes are located inside the body rather than in an external scrotum. Their penis is also mostly internal and only extends outward during mating. It's shaped to fit securely during copulation in water, which helps avoid separation in the current. Interestingly, when bulls mark territory, they spin their tails while defecating to fling poop around. This may sound gross, but it's actually a way of showing dominance and attracting females. After successful mating, the female is pregnant for about eight months. She'll give birth in the water and usually to just one calf. The cheetah's slender build, tear-streaked eyes and long tail help them stay balanced while making sharp turns at high speeds. Built for speed, wired for precision. An interesting fact is their claws don't retract. Leopards are stealth masters, strong, silent and totally unpredictable. They're amazing climbers and often drag their prey up into trees to avoid scavengers. With rosette-like spots and insane strength, leopards can leap up to six meters forward in a single bound. The coral snake's bright bands are a warning to predators that they mean business. Their venom is super toxic the coral snakes are shy and rarely bite unless seriously threatened. The red-bellied black snake is an Aussie native. It is sleek, stylish and venomous, but rarely deadly to humans. It preys on frogs, fish and other reptiles. It's pretty shy and prefers to slither away rather than strike. Green tree python hangs out in trees, coiled up like a spiral of muscle and coolness. It's found in New Guinea and parts of Australia. It's not venomous, but it's a master ambush predator, striking fast at birds and lizards. Titanoboa prehistoric monster up to 13 meters long and over a ton in weight. This extinct snake lived around 60 million years ago in steamy Colombian swamps. It was so big it probably ate crocodiles for breakfast. It crushed its prey with pure muscle. Thanks for watching drop a comment i'd love to hear from you hit like and i'll see you in the next wild adventure